friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly ww meal prep i cannot wait to share my three recipes with you i have breakfast lunch and a snack slash type of dessert and everything is so good super excited for this week's meal prep so if you want to see what i have in store for you for the upcoming week then just keep watching For my breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making cake batter pancakes. I am so excited about this, and I'm simply going to pair mine with some turkey bacon, and if you'd like, you can also add some eggs for zero smart points, but I think the bacon and the pancakes is going to be plenty because I'll also have some fruit. So let me show you what is in my cake batter pancakes. So first, you're going to need some milk, or milk alternative. So I'm just gonna be using this Kroger Carb Master Nonfat Milk. Baking mix, whatever you prefer. I'll be using the Heart Smart Bisquick Pancake and Baking Mix. Sugar-free yellow cake mix. Eggs, sprinkles of your choice, and some vanilla extract. And then again, I'm going to be pairing mine here with some of this Sam's Choice uncured turkey bacon. I love this turkey bacon. Huge slices for only one smart point a piece. So let's get started on our cake batter pancakes. So to get started on our cake batter pancakes, we are going to add one cup of our Bisquick Heart Smart Mix or whatever baking mix you're using. If you wanted to pump up the protein, you could use Birch Benders or Kodiak, but I'm going to go with Bisquick. And then I also have one cup of my sugar-free cake mix. And I'm just going to give this just kind of a preliminary quick stir. I want to get the cake mix and the Bisquick mix mixed pretty good together before we add in the rest of our ingredients. And then to that, I'm going to add one cup of my Carb Master fat-free milk. And again, any milk that you choose to use. You could use almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk. I mean, you really could use any liquid for the milk. We're also going to add two whole eggs. And then we are going to add one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. And I never measure. I just kind of wing it. And then lastly, the best part, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of our sprinkles. And again, any sprinkles that you want, that's just what I had on hand. And then we're going to give this a quick mix, get it nice and combined. And then you can cook your pancakes on a griddle. I'm going to actually just cook mine in a pan because I know as crazy as this sounds, I don't have a griddle. So in a pan, my pancakes are going to go. My batch here makes five servings, so there's enough for the entire week. I, you could do a large pancake, two small pancakes, whatever your preference is. So I'm kind of excited my batter is pink from my sprinkles. So all right, I'm going to get this mixed, and let's get these pancakes cooking. So to get started on our pancakes, I've added my little tiny egg pan. So I have perfectly sized mini pancakes. Here is my pancake mix. I also pulled out some more sprinkles. I'm just gonna sprinkle these right over the top of my pancakes. And then of course, some nonstick cooking spray and my scoop. So my plan is, again, I want five servings. So I'm gonna start with a level scoop of my pancake mix into my mini pan. And then I am going to add just a few of my little sprinkles to the top just to give it that fun little coloring. There we go, so look how cute those are. So I'm gonna let these cook down. I'm gonna make as many as I can. Hopefully I can have two pancakes per day, but we'll see what our batch ends up making. I wanted to show you guys how I cook my bacon. So on a paper towel, I put my turkey bacon. I'm gonna be having one slice per day. I am not going to cook it all the way through so that when I reheat it, it's not really dry and crunchy. So I'm gonna cook it about halfway through. So I put it on a paper towel, cover it with a second paper towel. If you want it cooked all the way through, it's about one minute per slice of bacon. So I'm gonna put these two slices in for one minute, which will get them cooked about halfway through, and then I'll finish it off when I warm up my meal prep. So here is my breakfast for the week, you guys. I'm incredibly excited about this. So I'm gonna walk you through it and give you all of the smart points. So first here, I have two of my cake batter pancakes. That batter was perfect for two pancakes for each of the five days. 
two of these pancakes or one fifth of the recipe is five smart points. So not bad for cake batter pancakes. I have one slice of my Sam's Choice turkey bacon. And then in here, I have just a couple of tablespoons of sugar-free syrup. These are my little cute reusable cups for condiments, which is awesome. That way I'm not throwing away plastic cups every day. So I purchased these at home goods for like $4 for six of them. You also, again, can pair an egg with this breakfast if you would like, but my one slice of turkey bacon is one smart point. And then I'm also going to just have a little bag of some great or grapes, blueberries for zero points. So my entire breakfast is five points for the two pancakes one for the turkey bacon, zero for the syrup, and zero for the blueberries. So this, my friends, is only six smart points. What an amazing, delicious breakfast. For lunches this week, I'm gonna be making pasta carbonara. I am so excited about this. I've been craving pasta. This is going to be delicious. You can eat it hot, you can eat it cold really excited. I'm going to pair it here with some vegetables and then I think I'm going to do some grapes on the side. Maybe a sweet treat, but let me show you what is in our pasta carbonara. So first you're going to need pasta. So I'm going to be using the fiber gourmet light rotini. You can use really any shaped pasta. I love the fiber gourmet for several reasons. The flavor is delicious. The texture is amazing. It does not get soggy. And the best part, you can have two ounces for only three smart points. Traditional pastas are five to six smart points for two ounces. So you get to save a lot of smart points. You're getting a good amount of fiber. As you can see here, there is 19 grams of fiber, eight grams of protein, and 23 net carbs. So eight grams of protein and 19 grams of fiber in pasta is impressive. If you're interested in the fiber gourmet pasta, it is linked down in my description box in Nutrition's store. All you do is click my link, It'll take you directly to the store. You can check out Fiber Gourmet and all of the other amazing WW items that they have. Highly recommend this pasta. My husband loves it. It's the only pasta we really use anymore in our house. So Fiber Gourmet Light Rotini. I'm gonna be doing a mix of egg whites and whole eggs. It calls for three eggs, so I'm gonna do uh, two whole eggs and one egg white. Instead of heavy cream, I'm gonna be doing fat-free half and half. Of course, some salt and some pepper, minced garlic, Parmesan cheese. The star of the show is some center cut bacon and a chopped up onion. And lastly, for the carbonara, we're gonna be adding some peas. And then I'm gonna pair my pasta with this large cut Riviera blend. This is whole green beans, wax beans, and carrots. I love these vegetables. If your store carries these Grande Classics flavor pack, I highly recommend they are fresh and delicious, just like fresh vegetables, not frozen. So I'm gonna be pairing my pasta with some additional vegetables. So let's get started on our pasta carbonara. The first thing we need to do for our pasta carbonara is cook our bacon. So I have eight slices of my center cut bacon here on a bacon, on a bacon sheet, on a cooking sheet wrapped in foil. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the oven at 400 until my bacon is cooked through. And let's get our pasta cooking as well. I have some water boiling here on the stove. We're gonna go ahead and add in our pasta. And we're just gonna let this cook down to be al dente, mainly because I will be reheating my pasta throughout the week and I want to keep its shape. Even though the Fiber Gourmet keeps its shape amazingly well compared to regular pasta, I am still gonna go ahead and cook this al dente. While our pasta's cooking, I've went ahead and grabbed a fry pan, sprayed it with some non-stick cooking spray. To that, I'm going to add two cloves of minced garlic. And I'm also going to add that very small onion that I chopped up and we're gonna let this saute down a little bit and this is where we're gonna put together the sauce for our pasta. Once your onions and garlic have started to saute down, we're gonna go ahead and put together our sauce. So we are gonna add in one half of a cup of frozen peas. You can use canned peas. Frozen peas just hold up generally better in this type of a dish. And then I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of my fat-free half and half. And I'm also going to add three quarters of a cup 
of my Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to add in my two whole eggs and my egg whites. Season this with a little salt and pepper. And I'm gonna stir this until it begins to thicken from the cheese. Look at this sauce, you guys. This looks outstanding. So I am just letting it finish thickening. You want to make sure you get that cheese all melted because that is gonna what that is what's going to thicken the sauce really well for you. And then we are going to simply add this to our pasta and add in our crumbled bacon. But yeah, this looks amazing. So we're ready to assemble our pasta carbonara. So here is my fiber gourmet pasta. I have broken up into small pieces my eight slices of center cut bacon. And then lastly, I have my sauce, which you guys smells amazing. So first we're gonna go ahead and add in our sauce to our pasta. And again, I did use eight ounces of pasta. You can use more if you'd like, but I think this is plenty. And it appears to be the perfect amount for the amount of sauce that I had. So look at that. Yum. Okay, and then the last step, easy peasy, is adding in our eight slices of center cut bacon. So I'm just going to stir this all together. Oh, yum. So here is my lunches for the week. I am not showing you my grapes, but I am actually going to pair this lunch with some grapes. So let me show you what I'm having. So I have one fifth of the pasta carbonara and I have some of those frozen vegetables. I just took that entire bag and divided it amongst all five meal prep containers and the entire batch of the pasta carbonara as well, since it does make five servings. So one fifth of the pasta is only six smart points. You guys cannot beat that for pasta with bacon and cream. You can't beat it. And then my vegetables, of course, are zero. I'll just add some spray butter, salt, and pepper. And then I think for a sweet treat, I've, I have had these for a while. They're really good. These are the WW Coconut Almond Little Granola Bars. So I think I'm gonna throw one of these as a sweet treat after my lunch for two smart points. So that will make my entire lunch a total of eight smart points six for the pasta and two for the little granola bar and of course with my grapes it'll be zero so this is my pasta carbonara and you guys another meal i can't wait to eat for a snack this week kind of a sweet treat something i can take with me portable i'm going to be making homemade craisin chocolate chip granola bars I'm really excited about this, you guys. So let me show you what is in these granola bars. So first you're going to need just some all-purpose flour, old-fashioned oats, brown sugar alternative of your choice. I'm gonna be using the Sucrin Gold. I do purchase this off of Netrition's website. Down in the description box, there's a link. If you click it, it takes you directly to Netrition's website and you can find this Sucrin Gold there. I have some reduced sugar dried cranberries. I can't believe it's not butter light. Mini chocolate chips. And I'm gonna be using sugar-free honey instead of regular honey just to really cut down on the smart points. This is the Nature's Hollow. It is made with xylitol, so be extra careful if you have pets. But I'm gonna be using this in place of honey. I did also purchase this off of the Nutrition website. So while you're there for the Sucre and Gold, definitely check out the sugar-free honey. It's delicious. And it is only one smart point for, per serving instead of three to four. So I'll be using that. And you'll also need some baking soda and last but not least, some vanilla extract. So let's get started on our granola bars. Let's make our granola bars. So we're gonna add everything to a bowl. So what I have here is two cups of my rolled oats. To that, I'm adding one half of a cup of just all-purpose flour. We're also going to add some baking soda, about a half of a teaspoon of baking soda. This is a full teaspoon, so we'll do half of that. And then we are also going to add in one third cup of softened butter. So I just let my butter sit out while I put together all the rest of my ingredients. We're also going to add one half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And as you know, I typically don't measure, just kind of wing it. We're also going to add one quarter cup of sucrine brown sugar and one quarter cup of our sugar-free honey. 
And then I'm gonna give this a good stir so that I can add in my chocolate chips and my cranberries here once everything is nice and stirred together. So this is very easy to make. If you're not a fan of the ingredients in the store-bought granola bars or the points, then this is a great alternative for you to make something that you have control of as far as what goes into your granola bar. So I'll get this nice and combined and we'll add in our chocolate chips and our craisins. Once you have everything nice and mixed together, this looks really, really delicious. We're going to be adding in one quarter cup of mini chocolate chips and also one quarter cup of the reduced sugar craisins. And again, we're just going to gently mix this until everything is nice and combined. And that's it, you guys. We're ready to get this in the pan and then get this into the oven. So really, really easy, fast. And again, you're controlling what's going into your granola bar. So we're ready to do our granola bar. So I have a sheet of parchment here. I'm making mine in about an eight by eight pan because I'd like them to be a little bit thicker. So on my parchment here, I'm just going to gently spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. And then we're just gonna add our granola mixture directly to our parchment. And when we go to push this down, see how it kind of drops the parchment into our pan. This is just a surefire way that they don't stick and also makes them come out really easy when they are done cooking in the parchment paper. So I'm gonna take my spoon here and I'm just gonna push it down until my granola bar mixture is nice and even in the bottom of my pan. And you guys, this is gonna be nice and thick, which is kind of what I'm going for. I'm okay with a smaller sized granola bar if it's nice and thick. So that was my plan. It's looking delicious. So we've got it pushed down here in our pan and then it's ready to go into our oven at 325 degrees until they're cooked through. But this looks really, really good. Here are our granola bars. These look so good. So I'm gonna allow these to cool for about 10 minutes. So I will actually pop them out of the pan and just lay them on the parchment. And then we'll cut these into our granola bar shape. And I'll be back to give you the smart points. So here are our cooled granola bars. I cut them into 12 servings. This is the size of our granola bar. Look at that. With that cranberry and that chocolate, oats, honey. Yum. What a fantastic snack. Full of whole grains. You get that little bit of sweetness from the chocolate chips and the craisins. And honestly, that's a pretty good sized granola bar. And each granola bar is only five smart points. So not bad for something satisfying that cures that sweet tooth. Full of deliciousness. So highly recommend making the chewy granola bars. So good. You could cut them into smaller pieces if you wanted to lower the smart points. But I think five smart points for this size is not bad. Here are my snacks that I'm going to be having for the week. So, of course, as always, I'm going to be having a Built Bar. This is what I have as a morning snack. It keeps me satisfied, full to lunch, cures my sweet tooth, tastes amazing. So I am packing a black cherry chocolate, which unfortunately was a limited edition flavor that ended yesterday. It's so good. I'm hoping they bring it back. It is so good. And then I have a double chocolate cream, a raspberry chocolate cream, cinnamon chocolate cream, and the Built Burner and Caramel Brownie, which are both no longer available flavors. But all of the flavors at Built Bar are outstanding. 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, four sugar and four fat. Delicious. Three smart points. Keeps you full, really, really a staple on WW. So my code is here on the screen. That will give you 10% off and free shipping. And there is a link down in the description box. So definitely order Built Bars. Take advantage of having a fantastic low point, low cost protein bar. And then you saw me haul these in my grocery haul. These are the Fresh Picked Goodness Harvest Snap Green Pea Snacks in Parmesan Roasted Garlic. I'm excited to have these. They are three smart points a serving, and the serving is pretty good size. It's 22 pieces for a serving. All right, camera, do me some favors. There we go. 22 pieces for a serving. So 22 for three smart points. So easy to take with you. Crispy, cures that need for some chips. So I'm going to have those. And then I have been obsessed, as you guys know, with the Iconic Protein Shakes. These are so incredibly delicious. They have 20 grams of protein, only three grams of sugar, and 130 calories. This particular one, as you see, is Cafe Latte. 
These are so good. They're non-GMO. They're gluten-free. They really truly are such a high-quality grass-fed protein drink. And they are only three smart points just, or I'm sorry, two smart points just like the Premier Protein. And I think the flavor is so much better. The ingredients are so much better. I love this one. It has a little bit of caffeine. So it's that nice little afternoon pick-me-up. You can add this to shots of coffee. It really truly is so good. I do have a 15% off discount code that Iconic wanted me to share with you if you were interested in their products. Highly recommend. My opinion, way better than Premier Protein. So click the link down in the description box and my 15% off code is right there on the screen for you. Try it, try it, try it. They have tons of flavors. They're amazing. Love, love, love. So this is what I'm going to be taking for my snacks for the upcoming week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. You guys, those cake batter pancakes, carbonara pasta, and homemade granola bars. Yes, please. Everything so incredibly delicious, satisfying, filling, perfect for about the start of fall as it is already September. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this week's meal prep. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure that you hit that little subscribe button and that little bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. You don't wanna miss a single one. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what recipe are you most excited to try? Cause I wanna hear what you guys are excited about. And I love you guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.